we do what we gotta do and we make it work and that's basically um, the way it works. So, you know, if there's an issue, if there's a certain issue, please let us know and we will make it work uh, in the end because this is going to take obviously all So, we'll do that. And in the meantime, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we our connection with um, which is to be able to do the um, uh, we're doing the, the, this panel and it's going to be open to everybody. So I'm going to patch that in right now. So give me a few seconds. I will patch that in and you know, we'll have all these different things. And we're going to be talking about uh, one particular topic. And our topic is ideas, encouragement, and empowerment for coming out of the room closet and being your authentic self with your friends, family, and the public, especially in today's social political climate. So let me uh, connect all of that to be able to do that. And um, you can get that going, uh, just to be able to uh, do that, able to do that. So just give me a couple of seconds, um, I know a lot of people are a little longer, um, <laughs> you know, we have, uh, technical issues. Um, I'm partially unavailable because uh, he is doing the live aspect um, on Saturday when it comes to everything. So it, it comes a little late, and we'll be able to give you live feeds and do all of that. Um, Saturday, so you can check that out. And you just make sure I am connected. So I just want to make sure that we are connected and we are live on this old witch. Uh, so basically, just give me a couple of seconds for all the presenters that are in our live feed um, to be able to connect it with our. And make this work for everyone and be able to do that. So, I don't know. Please do all of that. Um, When it comes to this, we are all set on Zoom, but we have to make sure that we're all set on our um, and we just we we are, we are, we are, which is good. Which is actually which is actually really good from our point. So yeah, we all we are live. I, I just want to point it out. We are we are, we are live. We are live. Look at that. See? So 
They're drinking tea, they're doing this, they're doing that. Um, let's get that working and make sure that it's okay. I am I am the main host. However, we are live right now. So just to let you know, if you want to uh, talk about yourselves, do all that. While I get the whole system set up, I should be able to put put the uh, feed into where it needs to go. So talk amongst yourself. Don't be private. Yeah, don't be private. Do what you got to do and make it work. While I work my end.
Well, you, you know, ladies, can you hear me? Okay. So, yeah, but, you know, you know, we are alive. I'm just going to let you know. We are alive. This is all going out to that. But, the, you know, this is the perfect, um, you know, kind of like introduction, really, um, uh, you know, about our topic tonight. Right? About, you know, uh, ideas, encouragement, empowerment for uh, coming out of the broom closet and, uh, you know, being authentic with your work self, with friends, family, and the public, especially if they Um, so, let me just explain to you, welcome to this old witch. We are live, we are on my podcast, we are all of this. Uh, my co-host is not available tonight. Um, uh, the podcast is really about being yourself. You know, we really focus on, you know, everybody's put, you know, authors and presenters and this and that on a higher spectrum, and we try, really try to pull that back and go, you know what, we're normal people too, you know, and some of the conversations that you just had relate to our, our, our topic that was given to us by the Fest, but, you know, it, it is about, we are who we are, and we do what we do, you know, we teach, yes, okay, fine, does, does that make us better? No. If we write books, does that make us better? No. So, our show, and which is, you know, what our show is about is being about organic, and we don't care. You can curse, you can do whatever, you can say whatever, you can disagree with each other. We're perfectly okay with that because it's what makes us who we are as practitioners. And we may not agree. Hell, even Alex, my co host, Alexander Kevin, we don't agree all the time, too. I'm very traditional. And he's within a lot of tradition, but he's a little bit more open than I am. So, you know, right there, it causes a means for discussion. And this is where people learn, and they can take what they get and put it back into their own lives and understand that and, and, and find something behind it. You know, you can turn around and say, well, you know what, I planted this plant because if I, I believe that is protection for my house. Okay. That's perfect fine. We believe that. Not a problem. Uh, we don't discredit that. However, we look at it and we're kind of bringing in uh, what we know as historical and what, you know, from our perspective as a uh, host to not so much fight against that, but even with it. Um, and allow people to walk away with their own information and then interpret it on their own. Because that's why I think there's people look. You know, it's not, it's not about, you know, what's in books. It's not about what's on the internet. But we all know the internet sucks when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to that. So, uh, and on top of that, I have my chat, so there may be a conversation, so this is actually a thing. Um, I'm going to try to include everyone. Um, it's really hard because I'm working, you know, obviously with um, uh, the jurisdiction. end of this event, and I gave up at 12 o'clock, and I started drinking. So, it's all good, ladies and gentlemen, because this is what this old witch is about. We're about who we are. You know what? If you have a bad day, it's okay to drink. <laughs> so, you know, that's it was about. We're not, you know, obviously we're not drinking alcohol or anything. But, you know, we celebrate life, right? And we did, we should celebrate life. So, um, I've 
got. Uh, and of course, of course, I have trolls <laughs> in my feet. So I'm going to handle that. But, so let's talk about this. And I'm going to give it to you guys because right now it looks like um, if I go to my feed, it looks like I have only two of you guys for the season. Um, as of now. Um, yes, sir. Which I would like. Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I was right the first time. Um, I, you know, obviously, we would love to have you on the show. Separately. So, but. It's great that you're on the show right now. Um, you know, it's a, introduce. Yes. No, do it. Do so. You have the camera right now. Do so. Go ahead. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's a lot that I can really focus on, you know, with it, with it uh, which I'm sure we'll get to throughout the thing, um, you know, throughout the show. Um, so, I, you know, it really sucks when it comes to doing events because, you know, we have a lot of end of trolls who are eager. Uh, <laughs> from your people. So people, you know, that are, you know, have names within the community, um, honestly, it, it turns into a, a fiasco of trying to figure out who is who and, and, and what's that. Um, so, but, you know, I love the fact that the two of you, and I'm going to be very blunt, and I'm very blunt when it comes to the show, um, so I hope you're okay with that. If you're not, then please say so, and you have no obligation to continue uh, the conversation. Um, but I'm very blunt on a lot of things, and you know, Yesha, I'm going to start with Yesha. Um, you know, there's been a lot of controversy you know, within the Bacon community with your practices and how you approach those. Um, I'm going to give you the opportunity at this point to kind of 
say what you got to say, and then, you know, I can touch on a couple of things. I don't want to put you on the spot. If you want to talk about it, that's perfectly fine. Just say, hey, you know, my practice is my practice. Do what you got to do. I respect everybody, respect everybody on the show, but, you know, when things come about, we have no problem talking about honesty when it comes to the show. And honestly, there has been a little bit of controversy when it comes to you. Are you willing to discuss some of that? <laughs> right. Which is which is amazing. No, right there, right there is what we look for. Right there is what we look for on the show. And you know, it weirdly enough, I'm not seeing everybody on who uh who's actually part of the group. Um, which is really strange. So I, what I'm going to do, because you said it and somebody else said it, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to put you on the spotlight. The only reason why I was doing it was to kind of fill up space uh, because, you know, we have a podcast and the live. So uh, I'm not seeing others that are in the group, which is really strange. Yes, yes. And hopefully it, it goes through on uh, our end. <laughs> oh, there she goes. No, I got it. Very good. Star, you're all up. Perfect. Yes, no, you're good. You're 107. Yeah, you're good. It just it had to kick over. So you're good. Because you are the presenter of Witchfest USA, and you know this is we're, we're integrated now, and this is live on our feed. So explain what Witches Fest USA is, your position, um, what you do, you know all of that. Tell tell us about you. I know what you do. <laughs>
right there. He's in my thing. Right. Even last night, you know, right, right, no, but but you, you know, you know, you're kind of right. You know, you know, even my friend, look at that, you know, they talked about, you know, you can find it on your, your page, which, you know, we, we put it out there. Um, they talked about the North Star and the South Star and bringing that together and being able to do that, you know, and a lot of your presenters has come from, you know, uh, Miss Excel, you know, so more kudos to them, um, you know, to be able to bring that, 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 you know, even within our own country, you know, where, you know, despite every, what everybody thinks, you know, there is, you know, there is a difference between the North and South, you know, like, a, a hundred years, two hundred years have passed, like, there is still a big difference, and right there, you broke the boundary with the show. You know, you broke that boundary to go between North and South, which is commendable, and I bow down to you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's that. So, but our topic tonight, because we are running through your platform, our, our topic tonight is ideas, uh, encouragement, and empowerment for coming out of the bloom closet and being an authentic with, being, sorry, your authentic with self, with your friends, family, and the public, especially in today's social political climate. And I'm going to give it to you because you're already, already on the platform. You're there. Uh, your thoughts on all of that. And, and, and if you want to um, interject, uh, interject on, um, you know, a little bit more on that topic and allow people to say their thing. This is, you know, what we do on this whole page is speak your stuff. You know, a lot of people to take home what they feel resonates with them. Um, this is a, you know, the path of what we feel is um, different from the norm. Uh, we are very judicial in the way we view things. However, but that's okay. It's okay to have differences. And at least if we can talk about those differences, um, you know, it allows people who are listening to be able to determine their own perspective. We may not agree, you know, and when it comes to things, you know, uh, Star and I have worked for the last, what is it going on, uh, six years, I think. <laughs> and, you know, we may have differences, but we respect each other. We respect each other not as only as colleagues business-wise, but we respect each other as witches. We respect each other in tradition. Um, but we are open enough, I think, where we can have conversations that if we differ, okay, you differ from me, okay, then I don't believe in that, and we walk away, but we don't view each other differently. Right? So, and that's what this whole witch is about, is being able to uh, give the, give you the information as listeners, um, and take it as it is, and go and study. You know, we're really big about get those facts, get those <laughs> that information, and try to do that. If you can refute it or somebody refutes it, well then look that up. So um, I'm going to open up that question straight to you, Star, because you're right on the uh, forefront. <laughs> no, all right. I mean, we could if you want to, if you need some time. Okay, so, uh, Darcy Velez, you're next on my top list. I'm you. And so the question is, ideas, encouragement, or empowerment for 
coming out of the broom closet and being your authentic witch self with your friends, family, and the public, especially in today's social political climate. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I I I, I do have I do have to make this back. We don't talk about politics here, but no 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 no, but 
But no, but it, it, but there is a part to that. And I look at the back. I look at back there. I'm writing down a couple of things. Um, and and the reason why I'm writing down a couple of things is because there it is a lot of topics that come up within our podcast that um, are quote unquote at least political in our community. So you know I understand that you know uh, politics does you know kind of interject and, and kind of cross over you know within our uh, uh, community. So it's very hard for us to. Uh, you know, not say one way or the other, but uh, we'll touch on that, you know, a little bit more as I you know, go, go back to these things. Um, but, you know, as in our topic, you know, coming out of the brain closet, what, you know, what, uh, just going off of the, you know, the first part of it, um, you know, what, what would be your ideas for somebody, let's say, within your experience of going from one to the next and being uh, multicultural, how would you be able to uh, handle that personally? It is. It, it is. It is. And, and that's the point. And I think that, you know, it's a great topic. It's a great topic. It's just, I'm really glad that Paul was able to give us this topic to be able to touch a lot of things. Because, you know, our listeners are worldwide. And every, you know, culture, every, uh, your own personal life, and all that, they're all going to resonate with something like and, and being able to hear it from different types of people, you know, they, they listen to our show. Yes, you know, we have over 200,000 listeners, but, you know, they're only hearing it from that. And, and you know, people who listen to the show, I'm very traditional. You know, I'm like, 
no, 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 no. But, you know, being the vote, we're open to be able to give that information uh, to listeners to be able to take it home and go, you know what, I resonate with this, and that's okay. You know, there's no problem with that. And I think that's, you know, uh, we may have differences, we may have this, we may have that within our own community, but I think if we're open and we're honest and we can accept those differences, hey, you believe this, I believe that, cool. It works, I'm sorry, it works for you, it doesn't work for me, but, you know, we're, we're still work, you know, within the same community, I think that's, that's what helps, and that's what we try to do on the show. So I'm going to go to Libby. Yep, go ahead. Right, but I will I will touch on that. I really will. I'm hoping we can get to it, but I will touch on that because I think that's very important, especially from my end, even myself. You know, I look at it this way. Our conversations, everything that we do on the show, you know, I learn from it too. You know, uh, I've changed I've changed over the three years that I've done the show. So, you know, even at that. But I wanted to allow everybody to give uh Time to talk about it. So, Libby, you are next on my list. Um, you know, uh, the, the question is pretty broad, right? Ideas, encouragement. So, but I want to, uh, I, I kind of timed into your class. So, I think encouragement really fits for you. So, let's have Libby. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is, and I love that. That's great. That's what makes, you know, that's what makes, you know, all of us different and our, our path, our path is very different. You know, right behind you, the collective witchery. What does that mean? I mean, you know, like, there's so much out there right now. And I'm very traditional, you know, and I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to be the bitch of the show. And I'm going to be the bitch of the thing. And I'm going to be against everything that you say. So, right, exactly. So, you know, but the thing is, is, but the reason why I do that is because that's my belief. I'm not pushing it on anybody, but to give that option of, you know what, this is your path. You know, when it comes down to it, it comes down to your path, how you do things, and, you know, take all the information. If you've given me all, all the information, and you take that all, all that information and you design your own path and you do this, then there's nothing to say. But, th and this is the perfect question for our show because this allows for your different perspective. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to break it up. It's a very broad question. So I'm going to give you encouragement. How would you encourage people that are Speaking to feel better about saying, hey, I'm not about this particular dogma, or I'm not about this particular um, way of thinking, but I'm this.
But sometimes, sometimes that whole, you know, let's say TikTok, uh, which everybody knows on my listeners, they all know I hate it. Um, you know, they're leading you to the wrong point. Now, I, and I'm all for, I'm all 100% for, you know what, you know, if it comes down to it, you find this stupid, you know, spell, it's like, oh, Ed deserves it, all of this. That is the opening to be able to spiritually connect to what you need to be. I'm perfectly okay with that, but you know, when it comes down to, you know, and, and trust me, I have a store. Everybody's a freaking witch. Everybody is a freaking witch. You know, and my question is, well, are you a witch with a lowercase or an uppercase? My difference is, and this is how I explain it, they're like, I don't understand. My difference is, is you can do and practice all French, you can do it all that, you can do all the stuff that's on TikTok, you can do all, all that stuff. It works. It, it, I'm not going to deny that. It's just ma- magic is work. Magic is odd. Right? So, but when it becomes an uppercase, you put the work in. You do the work. You know, you are initiated. If you're not connected with to a tradition, I'm sorry, you don't deserve the W, the high W. You could be a witch, and I respect you 100%. It, it, it's no, you know, I'm not discrediting anybody. I, I don't do that. But, you know, there's a difference. A holistic doctor or doctor. Who are you going to go to? Right? That's the way I kind of see it. And, you know, when you go into that doctor aspect, when it comes to witchcraft, it becomes a religious aspect. And you listen to God, and you listen to God, and you listen to this, and you listen to that. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean always within those quote-unquote Wiccan aspects. Um, because right there, you know, Wicca is, it has become convoluted. However, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a difference in that. Folk magic works. Absolutely. I'm not discrediting that. But, you know, what for me, the way I do it is witch, lowercase, witch, hardcase. <laughs> so, you know, and, and that's my perspective. Um, and that's the way I kind of view it. But that kind of goes in line with you is you know, and like behind you, the collective witchery. What's collective? 
what makes us collective. The collective is we're all working towards that same goal, but are we doing that from that folk magic way? Are we going to hex the person that we don't like in politics? Or are we going to go through the deity to fix those things? The end is the same. The end is the same. So we are working along the same path, but do you have that tactic of, you know, and then this goes into that next category, which is empowerment, which is do you have that backing to be able to. Oh, oh, well, you know, quote unquote, because it's a popular thing. Heck, is he says, oh, we have to hex this person. Right? Can you can you pull that energy in of heck, is it? Absolutely. As a folk practitioner, as that slow take witch, or are you a priestess? And that comes into initiation. But, you know, we're talking about that encouragement. What's going to give these people that encouragement to continue what they're doing and not being kooky? Because when you look at, you know, YouTube and you look at Instagram and you look at this, they're like, oh, we're going to hex, you know. I don't, well, you know, the new thing is, you know, obviously, you know, the court system. We're going to hex this court system. Well, what's your backing behind that? You know, what are you pulling in, right? What system are you using to pull behind that? Folk magic works? Absolutely. What you're doing, you throw herbs and say, oh my God, we're against this and we're against that. And, you know, more power to women and their, you know, the things, you know, whatever. But that's folk magic. But when you start adding in goddesses and gods, that's a kind of a different uh, realm there. So, Right. Right. But how would you give that encouragement to seekers, to people who are questioning? You have to know yourself before you get into it. Yeah, no, agree, agree. So, you know, on, on encouragement for people coming out of the closet, do you, would you say that is about understanding yourself? Yes. Okay. Right. right. Okay. Right. I, I'm not, you know, pigeonholing you into that whole thing, but I think. You know, it, you know, it, I think it's a, it's a good uh, thing when it comes to these things. So I'm going to go to Yesha Matthews, because uh, she's next on the list. And empowering those seekers um, to coming out of the closet. You know, outside of what we talked about, or adding in some of the things that we talked about, how would you empower um, people who are seeking to come out of the closet?
Well, I, I'm gonna stop. I, I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, you know, it's a perfect example. I, I, I was like, oh my God, I want to interject, but I want to do this all. So, you know, when, when it comes to out of, you know, in real life, you know, you, you were, you were on it, obviously, you had, you know, uh, fairy deaths. I myself, too, had a fairy death on because I grew up in this. So it, it was never a problem, right? But when you get those people who are, it's really a problem. And they can't get past those situations of, you know, oh, well, this is the way I believe. This is the way it is. You know, and standing that ground, which is very commendable. But, you know, in some situations, it doesn't happen that way. You know, and sometimes, you know, what I tell people, and it, they don't want to hear it half the time, is, you know what? Maybe this is part of that path. Maybe this is part of that thing. You know, you know, we have our moms, we have our dads, we have all of this. You know, I've been blessed that my mom has, oh, she, she supports my show. You know, my aunt is my teacher. You know, so I've, I, I've had the blessings of that. So I can't say from experience. But, you know, I always look at other people and I try to understand those other sides of like, well, they don't understand this, they don't understand that. And, you know, you know, my thing is, is you have to follow your path despite that. And sometimes mom, dad, grandma, aunt, uncle, whatever it is, you know, may not be part of your path. How do, can you empower somebody who is in that situation? <laughs> you would know. <laughs> you would know. <laughs>
this time. Right. And that goes back into our next, which is star. Um, and this is why I believe and why I support and this one which supports, um, you know, which is best to you, etc. Um, is why you do you what you do. Is that correct, star? You have to unmute yourself, hon. There you go. Yeah, you're good. She's, don't worry, she, she's next, she's, she, <laughs> she's, she's got a topic too, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get everybody in there, and then we're going to hit the, the, the conversations in the chat. Well, no, 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 I, because, you know, as an organizer, as someone who is, you know, within the public side, and pushing all of, all of these ideas, right, ideas, encouragement, and, and empowerment behind that. You know, coming off of uh, you know, Yesh's statement, you know, this is why you do what you do, from my understanding, and which is why I uh, personally, um, you know, as, as someone as a follower of the body, but not only that, where I, you know, this whole witch has decided to say, hey, we're going to back all of this, right? Because you're putting a, you know, a, a message out, and that's what we're all about, is being able to uh, promote this in a non, um, basically, you know what, here's the information, <laughs> you take it as you will. <laughs> like, that, that's just it. We may disagree. I mean, it, it, we've had conversations, personally, that we, we may disagree. But I love you as a, you know, not only as a business uh, person, but, you know, what you put out and what you do for the community. And that's what we're about. You know, everything we do for the community is not only because we want to promote, oh, witchcraft is the best. Bullshit. No, because it is our work to the goddess or your own divinity or whatever it is. So, you know, coming off uh, of, of the yes, you thing, it's like when you are in a situation that nobody agrees with you and you know it's your past, and being someone who provides to the community, would you say that there are outlets for those people who have nobody from their family? Right. 
Uh, you know, and that comes back to you know, humanity. You know, um, let me. See, I'm going to leave this, this with one question, and then I'll move on to Renza. Um, you know, is this your work? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but is it your work? There's a difference. We have a passion. We all have a passion. Is it your work? Is it your work from the gods? Is it your work from divinity? Well, well, welcome to welcome to reality. <laughs> you ain't done yet, bitch. <laughs> right, right, right. So that's good. So Rhonda, you're up. Yeah. So I, because you're the last one, you're the last one, and I'm not gonna get to the conversation. Oh my god, the chat is like blowing up. So let me get to all that and then we're gonna end for the night. I know we're kind of running over, but you know what? A lot of people are enjoying this. They want to know these questions. They want to be able to understand this. So, you know, start if you're okay with it, you know, I could keep running with it because, you know, as you said, this is a work. This is what we do, this is why we do it. Uh you can you can leave at any time. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Um, you know, I, my thing is, is that, you know, again, well, why are we putting on time limits? But if anybody needs to leave, leave it. I'll ask the questions. We'll go through that. We can go back to that. You know, um, so, uh, Rhonda, this is what I'm going to put for you. I'm going to put it all together for you. So your ideas, your encouragement, and your empowerment are coming out of the closet. So how can one, you know, your ideas are coming out of the closet, your encouragement, and as well as your empowerment?
It's only one letter that uh, differentiates certain people between bitch and bitch. <laughs> choose your, choose that letter. Choose that letter. Is it going to be a W or be a B? Right? So, you know, if you're going to choose that W, then live it, love it, and, and be it. You know, live it, love it, and be it. So, but thank you. Um, I'm just going to go real quick into anybody that uh, says anything in the comments, and then we're going to end the session really quick. Uh, we're going a little bit over, not too far. Star, I'm trying to keep it. Uh, we were a little late. We're a little late. Um, so, um, yep, I'm, I'm good. Well, you know, you know, that was what I was kind of hoping for because I wasn't either. So, you know, if and I grew up, I grew up in this. You know, I was initiated, you know, into uh, a witch master position at an early age. So, you know, I started at 13, but I wasn't initiated until I was about 17. But, you know, I always had magical positions in that, uh, especially along with the indigenous uh, teachings and things like that. But, you know, I'm not as, I, and I understand, I'm not as privileged <laughs> as others, you know. And, but at the same time, you know, I kind of go, well, all right, you're not as privileged, but don't discredit people who have that knowledge. Don't discredit people who have been through the work, you know, um, a person who has always been at, or, you know, that doesn't matter, um, who has time, um, you know, several weeks, you know, his big thing was, you know, witchcraft, magic, it's not about the easy button, you know, you sacrifice a lot. Right, no, exactly. And I, and you know, and people are like, oh, well, what, what is it to be a witch? And I said, you know what? It's the same thing as a monk. I've given up everything on what you think a monk is. You know?
Well, you know, yeah, one of the, one of the teaching one of the teachings in any uh witchcraft tradition, uh, let alone the uh, you know, folk magic and the occult aspects of it, is power. Have that power. You know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. If it, if it, if it, if it, if it's your mom, if it's your dad, whatever, fuck them. If you're following your path, the goddess will grant you what you need. Plain and simple. Right. Right. Everything happens for a reason, right? That's 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 but see, but that's it. That's the that that that's that enlightenment. You have that moment of saying, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. So I uh, I'm just gonna go real quick. I don't I, I don't wanna keep this going, but I wanna go kind of real quick and, and kind of just talk about what people are talking about. Say, but he, right. Well, you know, but but even even at that, well, yes and no, and 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 you know, in that aspect. You know, you, you know, yeah, sure, you know, uh, you've been through a lot. And well, you know, that's a whole other episode of our things that I'd love to have you on. But, you know, and, and that's the same point. You're connected with the divine. That divine is going to talk to each person in their own way. And maybe that was the way of what they got their information from. So, right there, they turned around and said, 
well, I got this information. I'm going to make this sign. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I want to just say what's resonant with you. Right? Right. Right. And, and well, that's, that's a topic. That's a topic. Okay. That's, I have to say, that is a topic that could be explored more on our show, more so. I don't want to get into that because that, you know, that goes into that. Right, but we can, but we, but we, yes, but we also can't live by that because sometimes that gets convoluted. No, I, 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 that's where I disagree. But anyway, I'm going to go to the chat because I think we should do that before we close out. So, um, Nick Foch, who's been a guest on our show, she is doing the goddess, um, in, I don't know, um, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere overseas, uh, she, she's really, good. she's really good, anyway, um, so we talk about this often, and she says, the key is education, and I agree with that 100%, study, learn, really, outside of Llewellyn, go outside of that, learn those things, learn those scholarly things, learn those things, traditions, learn those things, uh, to be other, yeah, exactly. Um, so, but she says uh, the key is education. Starting at schools, we need more organizations building bridges between pagans and the government and public entities. If they talked about talked about paganism in schools as well as religions and blah 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 I'm, I'm going to paraphrase it and normalize pagans as wouldn't have to hide or lose drugs or lose practices I disagree but <laughs> I'll let you guys kind of touch on it I agree. I agree. One time at one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Well, you know. Yeah, I agree. And here, well, just give me give me one second. Um, this is this is my answer to all the things that uh, a lot of people come to me and say the same exact thing. Is um, that's perfectly fine, uh, but let's accept the magic within Christianity before we can accept the magic within any other religion. Yeah. Yep. Remove paganism. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, that's that. You know, the important thing that what she said, the important thing that what she said is education. That's our goal. That is our goal. But if you cannot, if you, it, honestly, it's the way I feel. If you are all about, oh well, you know, everybody is, you know, it, if you can turn around and say, oh, we accept everybody, and we do this, and we do that, and we do that. Um, it's a lie. Thank you. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. No, but we also we also have to accept we also have to accept those religious and cultural traditions within those jurisdictions. You know, so it, but don't discredit those things or try to change those things. So and, and we find it in witchcraft immensely, immensely. The biggest thing right now, you know, is you know trans, right? I don't want to talk about it because we don't need to do those political things. You know, that's a big issue right now. I was whether or not, you know, especially within uh, initiatory witchcraft, right? So, can and I just, I was a moderator of some uh, just tonight. You know, you know, when it comes to initiatory witchcraft, PCW, all of that, you know, there's not a problem. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is not a problem if you are trans, male, female, whatever. We don't give a shit. We don't care. We love you for who you are. It's about the spirit. It's about this and that. However, our practices will sometimes require that you at least Accept that your energy is one or the other. That's all we're asking. And I think that's where it becomes really convoluted because, you know, we, we, we accept everybody. We love everybody. I love everybody. I don't give a shit. I don't care what you are. You can be a fucking green alien. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right? Right? But when it comes to certain traditional practices, there is a practice that we have to kind of follow because it goes within our religious aspect. And I think this is where some people get kind of convoluted is, you know, yes, spiritually, all right, male, or no, I'm sorry, physically, male, female, it doesn't matter. We don't care, right? But then you have that spiritual aspect where, well, Maybe it's a little bit but we have to know what you identify as so that we can present that within our tradition and work with it. We're not against it. It's just let us let us know way where that uh, spiritual aspect is. Where do you lie? But the, where that comes about is understanding yourself and that comes down to and I hate the word shadow work that comes down to you know understanding who you are and this is a perfect example this this is the question for tonight is a perfect example of that take that moment separate yourself from your world your 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 environment all of that who you are at this moment, not 20 years from now, not five years from now, who you are at this moment. What do you think? No, we don't need a title. That's the problem with the rest of the world. We, we need a title. <laughs> but who you are, how do you feel?
Right, 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 right. But but gender gender should not have a problem in any religious aspect. Plain and simple. Right. Yes. 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 Right. No, agreed. But, you know. Right. Yes. Yes. Or at this time. Or at this time. And, At this time, at this time, but at this time, we have to understand it at this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you? Did you learn? Wait, wait, did you learn anything? Really? Oh, see, then I'd be like, I see, as a teacher, I'd be like, bitch, you got to go back to that church. <laughs> <laughs> I feel my own thing as a teacher my own thing I would be like that is uh, egocentric how what, but but this is this was a while ago right oh right right okay good but that that was your path then right good. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Right. Go, go out. Refine your boundaries. You, you. Divinity put you in those situations that was going to put you out beyond your boundaries to learn. To go 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 with your path, do what you gotta do, and yes. Right, right. No, no, no. Because you have to. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I, I, I am all for that. Yes, yes, yes. There's more. <laughs> yes. Self. Exactly. Love you. Love you. Yes. Thank you. Right. Right. <laughs> I thank you. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs>
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, Darcy! <laughs> If, if if I was straight, you just need to come in my pants. But <laughs> yeah, no. No, but but the but the no, but the no if. If you could, if you, no, 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 I agree, 100% when you look at a historical, but when you look at it from a uh, physical, inside point of view, it's not. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, yes. And uh, all of it, all of it, all of it. It's about it, you know, and this is this is what Ness was saying. Educate yourself. If you have a question and you and you're questioning it, I'm not denying any of that. If you question it, then research it, study those things, look into those historical historical things, even if it goes into the Bible, even if it goes into this. There is not yeah, you're not gonna blow up. <laughs> That's the work. Oh my god. I love you too. Thank you. Oh my god. Yes. Right. But when we plot when 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 we Oh yeah, we're the way back. Of course, of course. You know, you have to look past the colonialism. You have to look past that, but you have to be educated enough to be able to do that. Um, Open-minded, right? No, exactly, exactly. You know, like you know, when you look at and and, and yesterday, you you're a perfect example of this. Not to put you on the on on the spotlight, you know, you you've kind of been hit with that um, cultural appropriation and all the bullshit that that's come along with you know uh, the Western society, you know, uh, you know the thing is is like when you look at the teachings, really, like you're good in my book, in my book you're good, you know. Oh no, but but the, yes, yes. Uh, no 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 but no no, no let's 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 let let's hold on hold on no 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 say that's where yes and no yes and no Yes. Right. No, no, I, yeah, good for you. Good for you. I'm glad you put that out. And this is why I would love to have you on the show. Because, you know, obviously, you know, within certain circles, you know, you have your issues, you have your issues. Um, you know, I, it is what it is. And, and this and that, you know, I, you know, I'm a researcher. I looked into your history. I did this. What I found, you know, you're legit. I mean, plain and simple. Done. Don't care. You know? Um, but, 
you know, all in all, like, you know, whether you're white, whether you're this, whether you're that, whether you're that, and we're getting into a little bit more political conversation, you know, but, you know, when we're looking at the divine, you know, just because you had a different experience, but just because, let's say, oh, yeah, we're going to use oh, yeah, very famous right now. Um, you know, comes to you, that doesn't mean it's oh yeah. <laughs> plain, plain and simple. It doesn't mean you need to go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. You just made me like spew all over there. One more. Understanding that energy. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love you. Um, <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, exactly. The truth is, the truth is, here's the truth. The truth is, we're human and we're stupid. <laughs> we're stupid. We're stupid. I'm sorry. We're stupid. Anyway, I'm going to keep going on and I'm going to uh, go into this. So, um, the current climate is getting more and more dangerous. Uh, I can understand people wanting to be in the broom closet in certain areas of their lives. And this really goes on to this. And my thing is, is, you know what? Fuck it. Well, well what's stopping? What's stopping that person? Then move, leave, do whatever. Why? Why? No, no, no. See, here's my thing. Why? No, no, no. Then, then you're not meant to be within that. I'm sorry. No, I, of course, their choices are their choices. Their choices are their choices. But you know, we, you know, if they're coming to us for um, you know, advice, and we're doing this, and my advice is say fuck it. That's my advice. You know, we can't change that. Well, no, 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 no. It's not. It really isn't. Because no, because here's the thing. You know, if you want, if you believe, um, you know, this is your path, this is the way it is, and you believe in a goddess, and you believe in this, and you believe in that, and you believe in that. That is your path, and you believe it 100%. Then damn straight, make the effort to do it. I don't care if you have to live in a fucking cardboard box. Spiritually, that may be your path. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. Right. 
Okay. No. I can't. And you're you're right. You're right. I'm gonna Okay. Okay. I'm going to... I I'm I'm going to be the devil's advocate in this. And 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 and, and no, no, no 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 because maybe that's her path. Maybe that is her path. We wait. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And 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 I agree with Yesha because you know I've had a lot of it and the, it turns out it's not what you think it is. And their path may not be the best that you think would be the best to survive this person or to be the best for the child or be the best for this or be the best for that. Their path may be actually to die. I, I, I mean, I'm putting it. I'm putting it as blunt as I could. In most cases, it's not. But you, no, we no, we can't. We can't. For now. For now. For now. For now. For now. Yes. Yeah, no, wait. Right. Here, here. What about next? What about the next one? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now. Now, now, as witches, as witches, we have to understand that it's now, then, and later. Maybe those decisions now may be beneficial and great and, and putting to those things, but later they may hurt that person. So you have to understand that, which is why I do not do any readings without consulting Spirits, because they know the difference between now, then, and later. Because what may hurt somebody now and be homeless and beat their children or whatever the case may be may be beneficial later in their jurisdiction when it comes to ancestral work. May turn you right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, yes. Right. 
Exactly. Exactly. Free will. This is free will. That is the free will. <laughs> Not not to not to not to be an ass, but who cares? Right? No, no. For you. But that's ego. But that's you. You're saying I. You're saying I. I is ego. But you said I, and that's a very important to me. You said I. And the thing is, is that what we do here is going to reflect in our ancestral work. So if you have a, a witch initiated or whatever, and they're going to follow and they're going to do this, right? We're all we're all initiated. We're all whatever. We're all encompassing of the witch, you know, thing. You know that five years down the road, they're going to come back to you and go, "What the fuck did you fuck up?" You know, like, no, if, if I can say I, the thing is, is, the way I look at it, if I can say I in this, I'm helping my situation. It is, you know, helping my I, or whatever, how you want to look at it, then it's not benefiting the future generation. And you're only in working with your situation. And maybe you have to accept all the bad shit. And it's hard. It's very fucking hard. It's hard. Right, but we have, but we have, we as witches, as witches, we have that, we have that, we have that power to be able to go, hey, is this beneficial for my future generations? Or is it beneficial for me? And that's where we have to... Da, 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 da. Right, exactly. Right, exactly. Right. It is, it is. And, right. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 Ashe, 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 Ashe. <laughs> yes. Yes.
So, no, I, you know, I love this conversation. I love what we're doing. And, you know, obviously, this is life on our thing. But I have to tell you, and I have to do this and start, this is your jurisdiction. You tell us when to cut it off. But I have right now over 100,000 listeners about this topic. I know, I know, I know. I mean, I I would hate to I would hate to cut this topic because I mean obviously we all have talked about it. We all respect each other. We all do these things, you know. And people are listening, like right now. You know, yeah, but you know, you know, from you know, you know, at 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 ten forty five, at ten thirty five, and we have. I'm sorry. At at this point, ten forty five, eight hundred and sixty five listeners. I know. Well, that that's why that's why that's why I was like, oh, we're getting kind of close, <laughs> right, right. But but you know, this is this is a topic, and I think we have enough people to you know w- within this conversation, w- which gives different perspectives that people are willing to sit down and listen. There's questions. I'm I'm not even halfway through. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, oh, well, that's that. <laughs> that I mean, that, that's great. So you know, uh, you know, from from the cat podcast point of view, you know, thank you guys for listening, and um, you know, I'm hoping because our our goal with it in the podcast is really basically educating, and you know, from different points of perspective and being organic about it, not so much of like. This is the way it is, and this is this, and this is that, especially within the witchcraft, witchcraft uh, tradition, um, or eclecticism, or whatever you believe, whatever it is, whatever it is that. Um, you know, we, we, we try to provide education, and we give you what we can, whether perspective, whether it's education, straight fact, or this, that, and the other. And, you know, you take it as it is on, on your own path. And you do with that. And this is why I believe that we have survived over three years and have over 200,000 listeners. And even tonight, we're, we're, you know, we're hitting in the thousands but that people want this, this conversation. So, you know, at that, unfortunately, you know, we are doing live through Witch Pets. And uh, Star, is this still, can you still get tickets for like Sunday if there are people are interested in? Mm-hmm. 
sugar. No, it is. And this is why this so which is all about uh which is best, you know, not only that, but we um, you know, we do what we can uh, to try to educate and you take it as it is and you do what you gotta do. You know, you've been with you know, our listeners have been with us for over three years, so you know, we've always supported it. Um, which is best, and we will always support which is best from uh, going forward. So, um, you know, at that, so our, our live feed, um, we will end from this. If you're still interested in connecting with anybody that's been on here, um, uh, which is best, right? Dot, no, I'm sorry, which is best USA.org, get your tickets, and you can watch it at your leisure. So if you miss Yes, go ahead. There you go. And more. <laughs> and more. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll post it within our group. We'll post it in within our Facebook page and all that. From this old witch, sir, we love you and we will always support you and we will always do everything else. Everything else. Go ahead. Go ahead. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And and for all, all our listeners, uh, Alexander Cabot will be going live tomorrow um, on the street festival part of it. And so you have a little bit more access, just pay attention to our page. So other than that, ladies, gentlemen, anybody who is here, we love you and bless and peace. Okay, we're no longer streaming live. <laughs>